Okay, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. You guys saw I made my warm lemon water, but welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Caitlin. I do a lot of these style of videos, what I eat in a day, week in my life. I show a lot of recipe inspo. I'm a huge fan of cooking, huge like wellness lover, fitness lover, and I just love filming these videos. The last one that I did was like a month ago, so I kind of wanted to just film one and show you guys what I've been eating recently just because I found so many new recipes. I love showing you guys recipe inspo, but I always, always make sure to mention that I'm not a dietitian. I'm not telling anyone what to eat. I just love sharing these videos for recipe ideas. But this morning you guys saw I have my water, which if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm like addicted to caffeine. And the first thing I do every single morning usually is just like run to the coffee machine. I used to drink water before my coffee and I felt really good doing that. So I'm trying to go back to that where I just start my day with water, a ginger shot if I have one, get hydrated before I have coffee. I find that I'm much more likely to drink water when I have like something warm and cozy to look forward to. So that's why I did lemon water. I love it. Then I have my ginger shot, which I get at Trader Joe's. I just poured it into this cup. Out of all the ginger shots that I've had, I really do love the Trader Joe's ones the most. They also have turmeric shots. So I'll either take a ginger shot or a turmeric shot. So I brought it over here so you guys could enjoy it with me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go make some breakfast. Favorite part of my day, I've actually switched it up. Lately, I've been having hot coffee just because it's like the fall time. Today, I'm gonna do the Melozio pod. If I'm gonna do an iced coffee, then I usually do the Altissio, which are shots of espresso. I get some questions about my coffee machine. I love it so much. I'm like addicted to Nespresso. I know a lot of people don't love espresso. I absolutely love it. I love the pods. I love that there's so many different types of pods. And the machine that we have is called the Virtuo. I'll link the exact one that we have down below. Okay, I'm about to make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna do a smoothie bowl. For some reason, like the past month, I've really loved smoothie bowls. I think I'm gonna do one that is either like cherry flavored. I don't know yet, we'll both see in a minute. I just love smoothie bowls because you can like put a bunch of different toppings on it, customize it. I always make sure to do like a protein carb fat just so that it actually keeps me full. And they're just so fun because you can add like whatever you want to the top. So let's go make a smoothie bowl. see how it goes sometimes I have to add some more frozen fruit and blend it if it's not thick enough but it looks pretty good looks perfect okay time to try it I'm sure it's gonna be good such a good combo I really love the protein powder that I used I've been using it forever it's my favorite chocolate protein there's a few other proteins that I love but the orgain one is super creamy and the flavor is really good and then I also added the cacao such a delicious like chocolatey flavor and then also like you can taste the fruit so it tastes super fresh it's a little bit later I literally snack like all day long pretty much. I'm hungry, I eat, so I do snack a lot. I also snack a lot at night. I thought it'd be a good time to talk about Built Bar. Built Bar is sponsoring another one of my videos. Thank you so much Built Bar for sponsoring. This one is the raspberry flavor, kind of like a little raspberry truffle bar. I love that Built Bar is 17 grams of protein. I feel like anyone would like them just because they have so many different flavors and they're always adding new flavors, which is also really cool. And I feel like that kind of shows how much they care about their customers just because they always want someone to find what they love. So some of the flavors, I have the mix box near me. We have mint brownie, double chocolate, coconut, seriously something for everyone. I've mentioned this before, but I just would rather eat something if I'm getting hungry than not eat something just because I don't have time to like whip up a snack with like hummus and veggies and stuff. This is just so easy. It's grab and go. You can try out one of their boxes. I'm going to link it down below. Also use my discount code. I'll put it on the screen. I would definitely recommend getting the mix box. I always say that just because then you can try like all the different flavors and you never know which one you're gonna like thank you so much built bar for sponsoring another one of my youtube videos and i'm just gonna do a little bit more emails and stuff at the apartment it's been definitely a very like work heavy day okay 
Love the little golden hour moment that we have going on. You guys saw I had my snack. I've just been sitting down doing work on my computer all day. Haven't even left my apartment. I kind of wanted the vibe of this, what I eat in a day, to be a little bit more like realistic. Oh. I'm actually gonna eat out for lunch today, which I know I like to like show recipes and stuff in these But I kind of have like two sides to my life Some days I'm super super busy don't have time to cook and then other days I like recipe test and cook like five different recipes in a day So I just wanted this video to be a little bit more realistic in a busy day Let me move out of the Sun I feel like you guys can see me better right here, but I'm gonna run and grab a salad I always pick up like a salad with veggies, protein, just as much stuff that I can get into a salad for lunch. Salads just like make me feel really good and rejuvenated, obviously because there's so many vegetables and I honestly love them and enjoy them. That's why I eat them. So I'm gonna go walk to Takaya. I'm gonna bring it back to the apartment so you guys will end up seeing what I eat. The excitement is real. I know I get this all the time, but it excites me just the same every single time. The sauce is so good. I think it's called poblano sauce. I used to get the jalapeno one. Now I'm in love with this one. This has become the designated salad spot where I vlog and eat my salad. We can turn it into a thing. Already going in for my second because this is freaking so good. Mmm. I definitely have this exact salad like twice a week at least. Sometimes it's just like easier with my schedule to pick something up if I don't have something meal prepped. Whenever I'm picking up food, I just try and find something that has protein in it, a lot of veggies, something that's gonna keep me full. Obviously, if you watch my vlog, sometimes I get Chick-fil-A, sometimes I get in and out I just go with the flow. The majority of the time, I love to have like nutritious meals like this with a bunch of veggies just because it does make me feel so much better than if I were to get in and out but sometimes I crave in and out and I listen to my body so that's my talk of the day. Okay, it's a little bit later. Hunter and I usually eat dinner around like 6 o'clock or like 6 37 and it's been getting so dark so early and I don't want to like film too late at night because then the lighting gets weird so I'm cooking dinner a little bit earlier tonight and we'll just have it later. I always do this. It's not really a big deal. It's kind of like meal prepping which by the way this recipe would be really good as meal prep as well. I'm doing like a teriyaki chicken bowl. One of my favorite cooking products is actually coconut aminos. I use it all the time. That and tamari. I just like love the two. So I have all the stuff laid out in front of me. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to use. So mini dinner whole foods haul. We have some chicken. I got this at the deli counter. It's just two chicken breasts. Hunter is eating dinner with me, so I got two. This is a huge head of broccoli I'm gonna cut and wash. This is green onions. I always like garnish it on the top. My favorite steamed brown rice that I always get. This is like definitely my most purchased item at Whole Foods. Hunter and I always eat this. And then here's the coconut aminos I was talking about. This is a soy-free alternative to soy sauce and it definitely tastes different. It tastes more like teriyaki sauce to me, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna cook dinner. Started with the chicken breast. I lined a baking sheet and then I always make sure that they're even. I add olive oil, garlic, onion powder, sea salt and then I make sure to do the exact same thing on the other side so that it's equally coated then I preheat the oven to 350 usually I cook it for about 30 minutes it'll differ depending on the oven and the chicken for the broccoli I pretty much did the exact same thing coated it put it underneath the chicken today I cooked both for about 25 minutes plated it with brown rice the coconut aminos the green onion on the top and then also toasted sesame seeds Okay, it's a little later in my hair. She's looking very poofy. I just got out of the shower, blow dried my hair. About to have some dessert and some tea. My vlog besties know. There's been two desserts that I've been having recently. I thought I would just show you guys both of them. First one is Honey Mama's. This is like a truffle paleo raw chocolate bar. <laughs> one of the best chocolate bars I've ever had. It has no refined sugar, gluten, dairy, soy, or paleo if that refers to any of you guys. They just genuinely taste so good and the texture is really, really good. But I think that tonight I'm going to have my mush. This is like an overnight oats deliciousness in a cup. A while ago, Mush sent me a PR package and I was eating them like all the time and then I honestly just forgot about them because I make a lot of oats at home. I got them at Whole Foods the other day and had it one morning like when I was in a rush. I'm like re-reminded how much I love them. They taste so good. So I'm gonna have one of these for dessert. It's literally just like overnight oats and I'm gonna make my tea. Ginger, turmeric, these ones I get at Trader Joe's. 
I switched to ginger for a while, like just plain ginger tea. Honestly, these ones are so much better. The ginger tea when it's alone is just kind of like spicy, <laughs> which sounds weird if you've never had ginger tea, but it really is spicy. So I'm gonna have ginger turmeric. It's way sweeter. I like it a lot better. You can also do honey if you need it sweet, but I like it as it comes, so okay. I'm gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm waiting for my tea to cool down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some ideas. Usually I do have some more snacks throughout the day today, but I feel like I didn't move a lot today. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I just listen to my body, so I eat intuitively. If you're new here, I talk about intuitive eating a lot, just like a huge part of my life, and I share a lot of my life on YouTube. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do not compare what you eat to what I eat. We're two different people, two different journeys, different goals goals different bodies and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and join our little best friend family also please say hi in the comments so that i can chat with you especially if you've never commented before or if you're new here i really love to like get to know you guys in the comments i literally respond to every single comment especially on my youtube videos so i will see you guys in my next video